ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the biosphere. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another show. Today, I really want to talk to you about the effects that COVID has actually had on people's mental health as far as depression, anxiety, and a lot more. You know, I was reading an article just the other day, and it pretty much said that the number of cases of depression here in Utah have skyrocketed since COVID. And I don't think that's really only localized to Utah. I think it's all over the United States and most likely all over the world. Let's face it, there's a lot of things that are going on, not only fear of catching a disease that, that could be you know, debilitating and deadly, but not only that, but su supply chain issues. We can't get things in stores that we're used to getting. Uh, sometimes food is a little bit short. Uh, gasoline prices have skyrocketed. Uh, sometimes we can't visit loved ones because it's just the travel is difficult. The restrictions put it just it's really, really tough out there. People have lost their jobs. Um, it's just it's very difficult. And a lot of people are experiencing anxiety and depression because of this. There was a day long, long, long time ago when there was a tremendous stigma attached to admitting that you don't feel right mentally. I'm hoping that if you're one of the people, along with me, who has experienced depression and, um, and anxiety and, and more, I'm hoping you can at least at first admit it to yourself. And then once you admit it to yourself, congratulations, admit it, then admit it to uh, it's somebody else that can help you. Um, I might be that person that can help you, um, not in the way of consultations or anything like that. I'm not qualified for that really, but I could be the one that could help you as far as steering you in the direction of something that I'm using that, that could help you really well. I mean, look, you could go the um, conventional route and that would be talk therapy, you know, psychotherapy, talk therapy, possibly medication, um, all different types of things the conventional route w could, could take care of. But a lot of times it doesn't work. Um, I've talked to a lot of people over many, many years that just are frustrated with uh, talk therapy going on forever and ever and ever. It just doesn't seem to be an end to it. It just never gets you where you want to be. And medications, side reactions, you know, side reactions, and and things that just are, it's it could be a mess. So um, fast forward to using microdosing for anxiety and depression. If you've been following my channel here for a while, or my my show. Um, I, it's, it's not a surprise to you then that I have been using microdosing for close to eight months now, microdosing psychedelic psilocybin mushrooms. And I will tell you unequivocally, if that, if I pronounce that word right, unequivocally, <laughs> I hope that's right. Um, uh, there has been such a change in the way I feel every single day. That's one of the reasons I'm out here today. I'm in my hippie van preaching the word. I'm telling you, this could be your solution. I'm going to use this time in the show today to tell you that I am not giving official medical advice on my show here. Um, I'm not qualified to give official medical advice when it comes to uh, mental illnesses and psych uh, psychological things and depression and anxiety and things like that. However, I am okay telling you um, about my experience and when I started microdosing psilocybin mushrooms, magic mushrooms, back in April of this year, April of 2021, um, I almost immediately found the answer and a total, total difference in the way I feel every single day. This is not an exaggeration. There is no way that I would feel comfortable sharing a story that's not true with people possibly all over the world uh, to get you into something that is not going to work and it's going to be a waste of your time and money. No, this microdosing psilocybin mushrooms has helped me immensely. Um, I have not seen any side effects at all. Again, it's a microdose. Um, and if you're not sure about what a microdose is or how much, um, I've got, I've talked about that on a lot of my other videos. So make sure you, this would be a good time to say subscribe to my channel and like my videos. It just helps the channel. It helps when you subscribe and when you like and when you comment. It, it, helps the algorithm get this out to other people that probably could really use this in their lives. So any help you can give me, I really appreciate it. I'm doing this for free. I'm not asking for any money. I don't sell anything whatsoever. Um, I really enjoy it. I've really enjoyed teaching and helping people for the past many, many decades. Um, I just, it's just something that's in my DNA. I like to, if I could help one person from this video, um, I will achieve my goal. But um, just suffice to say, I'll keep this pretty short today. 
Um, watch some other of my videos if you're not sure exactly what it means to microdose. And I'm going to be continuing the series and doing a lot more about this. But um, psilocybin is here to stay. Well, it's been here since since we've been on the planet. Uh, it's nothing new, but uh, there are some new developments as far as studies from Johns Hopkins and talking about how this uh, can really help um, anxiety, depression, PTSD. The list goes on and on and on. It's helped me. I'm enjoying my days as they're just, they're wonderful now. I'm still a human being. So of course things still, affect. it's not like I'm a zombie. No. Do I look like a zombie? No. Uh, but it's, so you're still a human being. You still feel great. You feel great. But the underlying feeling of any type of depression or anxiety all but just disappear. I'm a fan. Again, not medical advice to you sharing what I, what I've learned myself, but, um, if you do decide to try, I, I, I can only hope and pray that you have the same results as I am getting because your life will change do a 180. That's all I have today. Keep, I kept it short. Make sure again, subscribe, comment, and, um, I will talk to you later. I do love you. And I do this for you. See you.